Thank you so much. God bless you all. Last night, if I remember rightly, and my memory is getting a bit overfilled, we um, dealt with spiritual warfare in the heavenlies. I can't go back over that, but tonight we're going to go further and we're going to deal with spiritual warfare on earth. And primarily, the persons with whom we make warfare on earth are demons or evil spirits. And that's what we're going to talk about in a basic and practical way tonight. But I think it would be appropriate for me to begin with a brief, up-to-date, personal testimony. In September of last year, I was living with one of my married daughters, my only Arab daughter, in the UK. And I went for a medical checkup and was referred to a, what they call in England, a consultant the top medical rank, and I was diagnosed with cancer of the bladder. This was a very thorough diagnose, diagnosis with a cystoscopy, an internal inspection, and furthermore they told me it was a dangerous form of cancer because it was liable to spread to other parts of the body. Well, I was not afraid. I felt somehow that God was in control, and I was living with my my, one of my married daughters, as I said, and she had a friend, the family had a friend who was a curate. Now, I don't think most Americans know what a curate is. A curate is about the lowest rung of the officialdom of the, um, what do you call it? Anglican church, what do you call it here? The Episcopal church, thank you. So I was with my in my daughter's house and we had a phone call from a young man, a curate in the Anglican church, young enough to be my grandson. And he said, I would like to come and pray for you. May I come? So of course I said, yes, you're welcome. He was a little timid. He sat at the opposite end of the living room. And after a while I said to him, now I want you to understand, I'm not necessarily expecting that if you pray for me, I'll instantly be totally healed of cancer but come and pray anyhow. So he came, I was sitting in a chair, he stood beside me, put his hand on my shoulder and began to pray. And it was like, I can only say like cats fighting inside my chest. I have never experienced such intense conflict within me. And I let out a loud, prolonged, sustained roar. Not just a shout, it was a roar. And at that moment, I knew that I had been delivered from a demon of cancer. Amen. Now, about six months later, as far as I know, there is no evidence of cancer anywhere in my body. Amen. So I want to encourage you it pays to get delivered from demons. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be fearful. Just accept what God has for you.